everyone. The people coming on the stage, they normally walk to the stage. But as you can see, I'm just comfortably sitting and saying hi to you. A lot of people, when they see me for the first time, they would say that, oh, you're so young, you're on a wheelchair. Oh, how difficult you are. How about your parents? How disappointed would they be? Uh, it's true. 13 years passed since I had this wheelchair to be my foot. It's true that uh, my life now is more tiring and uncomfortable compared to the life that I lived normally. But it's an irony that the life that I'm living in this small chair, the life that I'm living is more happy and thankful. This is the way that I discovered. It's hard to believe, isn't it? And here is the secret. According to which aspect, which angle you see, you can be shown as a beautiful woman or ugly woman. This was a very interesting video, but this doesn't apply only to appearance. How do I look at the world? And then what is the angle my heart heading to? According to this, our life could be totally different. When I was a flowery age, a college student, I went to Africa, Ghana for a volunteer student. I was able to teach the children Korean language, Taekwondo, and computer, and I was doing the volunteer work. And also I was doing the construction volunteer for a few months. But one day, I met a falling accident. From the second story, I fell to the ground. I was, as I was taken to the hospital and was tested, as I was not able to receive the surgery in Africa, so I was transferred to Germany for surgery. Actually, before I was transferred to Germany, the time that I spent in, in Africa, the moment I met this accident, I, my memory is not really clear. But the pain and suffering that I went through, as I spent hours and hours, I was, I was not able to bear without a painkiller. I was almost fainted. Later, I could see my teeth was broken. That is how I went through a lot of pains. And my toes, my thigh, my waist up to my chest, the paralysis was progressed, and then the pain was so much. As I was transferred to Germany, I was able to receive the surgery right away. And after I received the surgery, and after the second surgery, I was not threatened in my life. But the day I was moved from the intensive care unit to the general unit, he was able to explain about my condition. Hedin, all the things I can do 100%, the surgery had finished, and then now your scar will be healed to the point that you can even wear a bikini. But however, Hedin, for you to stand and walk, that is only possible by the miracle of God. Have you ever imagined that you are not able to walk again? I never imagined in my life, but I heard that word from the doctor up to yesterday, up to a few days ago. I was just living a normal life. 
I was just living my daily normal life using my two legs. But suddenly, because one moment, I became a person who was not able to walk the rest of my life. And that decision and that statement, I was thinking in my heart, what happened to me? It seemed that I was cursed. My head became blank. And I was not able to predict at all what kind of life is a life not being able to walk. Time passed, my scars were being healed, but my heart was becoming more rotten because as I was living my normal life, the fact that I'm not able to walk again and I have restriction in walking and then my legs are paralyzed from the down of my waist down from my chest, I'm not able to walk freely. I was not I was able to really feel to my skin how difficult and uncomfortable that is. The most painful time for me was the time that I had a meal. Now you can see me sitting straight before you. But at first, my appearance was that I, I could not even sit by myself. I could not keep my balance. So that's why I had to have cushions to my right, to my left, and then on my back, my mother had to hold me for me to have the balance. And then I could start eating small. Whenever I was having my meal, I was almost crying. Should I eat this way continually? Even though I was eating, I was not just eating, but I was uh, looking at people, how they were seeing me. Because as I was in the hospital, how people look at me saying, what happened to her? Why is she not able to walk, eat by herself? Why her mother have to hold her behind? It seemed that they were whispering these words. Not only that, but when I'm coughing or I went to the bathroom to brush my teeth or wash my face, there was not even a single thing that I was able to do by myself. I had to receive help. And somebody had to hold my hands for me to do those normal things. And when I went through these things, I, was, I felt so ashamed. So I'm, I was thinking, why these things happen to me? Why is it me? Why did I do wrong? These were the only thoughts which aroused within my heart. So the life of Moon e j i m seemed to end. And only people just saw me as a disabled, m u n e j i n patient who cannot move. That label remained in my head and in my heart. Even though I was in a time that I should be more better in living my normal life, but my heart was getting more festering. So, and how people see me, Uh, even though people saw me as a normal person who was sitting on a wheelchair, but actually in my heart, when people look at me, I was saying to him in my heart, what are you looking at? Did you see disabled for the first time? Do you also want to be disabled? In my heart, I had a rage towards somebody. If somebody looked at me with a strange eye, or if I had some struggle with my mother, Because normally you have some fight with the close ones, isn't it? So I said so many bad and mean words to my mother and father. When I was irritated and when I was frustrated, my heart was not good, then I could not say the good words to my parents. I was very, very mean to my parents. And my mother was heartbroken when she heard those words. And I thought, I'm only a burden to my family. I'm a useless being. So what is the use for me to live? Who would like a person who is riding a wheelchair? And if I'm discharged and if I go to the world and I'm on the wheelchair, what am I able to do? These thoughts were filled in my heart. But while I was in that deep darkness, My mentor, who is Reverend Oksu Park, he visited my ward. 
And as soon as Reverend Pastor Park saw me, he touched, touched my foot. This foot exactly looks the same as our foot, but why your foot is not able to move? And then he sat right next to me. And as I looked at Pastor Park, he grabbed my hand. Hye Jin, you really gone through a really tough time, isn't it? You were so painful, wasn't you? Even though after the accident, my heart was really difficult, but I never shed tears before anybody. But as I heard the word of Pastor Park saying before me, Hye Jin, you were very tough, right? Tough time, isn't it? Then I started to burst into tears. I grabbed his hand and cried and cried. It was the first day I burst into crying. When I was crying and crying, Reverend Park said, Hye Jin, it is okay. Hye Jin, God will show His glory through this. Hye Jin, I would like to share one verse in the Bible with you. He opened Romans chapter 8 verse 37. Now in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him that loves us. Hye Jin, God is the God of love. God loves you. So, it is the, so that's why through this, God will show His glory to you. And I believe God will make you to walk again. So let's look upon the Lord. Before God, this is actually nothing. Hye Jin, let's have hope. As Reverend Park said this to me, I really wanted to believe his word, but in one part of my heart, I could not believe. I had some heart to go against his word. Half of my heart wanted to believe, and the half of my heart was thinking, how could be this be the glory of God? If God surely loves me, then why God will appear himself to me in this way? This is what I was thinking. As time passed, I was able to think. As Reverend Park said to me, versus I looking at the world, it was totally different. What I see through my eyes, the world was my toe, which is not able to move, and as time passed, my muscles in my leg were drying up, and also the suffering because of my leg, which is not able to walk and uncomfortableness and difficulty. These were the things I am able to see. And the world was seeing me as a paraplegic patient. But in the word Reverend Park shared with me, what I was a person who had hope. And God was telling me that He will heal me perfectly. Between these two kinds of hearts, I, will, I had struggling and I had a fight. One day, when it becomes a uh, weekend, I always went home from the hospital. My normal days was to exercise in the hospital the whole day, and then when it becomes weekend, I went home and spent time. As I continued that life, so there was no, nothing interesting, nothing fun in my life. And I didn't even want to meet people. I didn't want to see their eyes. So that is why I spent the most of the time at home by myself or with my family. But one day, when my father saw me living this way, he was very sorry because actually I'm a person who really loved to see movies. One day, he said to me, let's go to see the movie. And I said to my father, are you crazy? There are so many people. How can I go to the movies in this body? So I just said that this. But that day, my father was really made up his mind. Even though I was resisting, saying I don't want to go, but my weakness is that I'm not able to move. So he helped me, put, in, put me in the car, so I had no, no choice but, but to see, sit in the car and then I had no choice but to go to the theater. It was real, regardless of my will. So that's how I went to the theater and saw a movie. 
And the movie I saw that time was the movie Avatar. Did you see the movie? If you see that movie, the main actor is also on a wheelchair. And also the main character, in order to cure his disease, he joined the Avatar experiment. As the main actor goes in the unit, and at the moment that he's connected to the Avatar, he's able to live with the healthy body of the Avatar, and he's able to live with the healthy mind of Avatar. When I saw that movie, I was a little bit shocked. Like that main actor, through the unit, he was able to be connected to the Avatar, who was able to live as that healthy Avatar. How about me? How about my life? Now, what am I connected to? What am I linked to? I was able to earnestly have this thought. We, we have thoughts which is arousing from within our hearts. For example, I'm sad, I'm happy, I have, I'm hopeless, I hate that person. We can call these thoughts first-dimensional thoughts. But if we are able to think a little bit more deeply, the person I'm seeing, I really hate that person in my eyes, he's a loser. And it seems that he has nothing better than me. But how about his inner side? There could be something that how other people see him could be different. So it only doesn't fit my thoughts. But even my thoughts could be wrong. There are many times we live our life not knowing this. Many times we think self-centeredly. I also was the same. The world that I look, the world that I judge, I thought that it would flow according to my thoughts. And I thought that my life would flow according to my plan. However, when I went through an unexpected accident, and as I was able to have a conversation with other people, even I'm on a wheelchair, people were saying to me that there are so many things that you're able to do and you can even have hope. But I was a person who was not able to hear their words. Why? Because I was a person who believed my thoughts more than their words. Those appearances and those thoughts became a obstacle in my life, and then it connected my heart to death. It connected my heart to despair. For me to live this way, I'm a useless person, so isn't it better for me to die? Even my parents, at first, if I leave them, then they will be sad at first, but it will be better for them. These thoughts visited me and it filled my heart, and that was the only thing I was able to see. But when I was able to think more deeply in a new level, if I die, my parents will be so sad. And even though I'm thinking that because of this, I'm not able to do anything, but on the other hand, it could be an opportunity for me to upgrade my life and upgrade my thoughts and my heart. I could also think this way. I was able to arrange my thoughts and I was able to discover my image. How foolish and useless thoughts that was taking these thoughts to be right. And there was an opportunity that my thoughts were able to change. It was not the world I'm looking at, but hearing what other people were telling me and also hearing what other wiser people than me telling me, not thinking that my, my thought is the only right thought. So if that person is saying this way, how about I follow his word? I living this way could be better. There will be many things I'm able to do on the wheelchair. So compared to my former life, there will be uncomfortable things and difficult things, but there could be difference. As I was able to have this heart, my life was able to dramatically change. Firstly, 
One day, my mentor, Reverend Park, said to me, Hejin, I hope you would go back to school riding the wheelchair, that you go back to school and meet people. Even though you're on a wheelchair, then you can show them how you're bright and what's in your heart and what thought that you're living with. You can have a lot of conversation with people. And other people would think about you, even though she's in the wheelchair, she's very good at studying. As he said this to me, I put this word in my heart. Actually, before leaving as a volunteer student, I left school. And it was, I was in a situation that I cannot return to school. So, that, so that's why I dropped out of school. After six years, I was in the hospital, I was discharged, and I looked for a new school, and I went to college. This year, I graduated my graduate school and I finished my studies. Different from my thoughts, I could see there were so many people who wanted to help me. Different from my thoughts, even though I'm riding a wheelchair, studying, and also getting along with people, going somewhere with people. There were so many people who wanted to help me and care for me. So I was able to realize that this world is different. It's not a really bad world. I thought that people would whisper at me, saying that, what's wrong with her? As if a person who has a delusional disease not only the pretty people who has a delusional disease, even the people who have low self-esteem, they can have this disease. So it seemed that if I go outside, people will look at me, cursing at me, and they will not like me. These thoughts were very huge in my heart. But actually, that was not true. When I actually stepped out to the world, that's how I spent my school days brightly, boldly, lively. One day, my mentor, Reverend Park, said, Hejin, I would like to let people know about your world of heart. There will be surely the heart that God gave you, and then even though you're going through a difficult life, but you didn't lose hope, and also you are you're able to share the story to give hope to others. Also, I put that word of Pastor Park in my heart. Afterwards, amazingly, I had a lot of opportunities to share my experiences and my story to other people. Now, I'm a leader of the Tomorrow Book Concert team. Our tomorrow book concert is a character concert. We have musical songs, lectures, and also talk shows. I'm working as an MC. Also, I'm doing the planning. Um, as I do these works, I have a lot of chance to share my experience and my stories to many people. As I share my story with them, in, even though I'm in this wheelchair, but I'm able to go all around the country, and there's no place that I'm not able to go, and there are so many things that I'm able to do. So that's how I'm showing them and sharing this to them. There was somebody who said that even looking at me, they can gain strength. And as they hear my story, they're gaining power in their hearts. Things were happen which I never imagined to happen in my life. If I lived with the two normal legs, what would be different from now? Sometimes I think about it. I'm sure that living so busily and lively, receiving help by somebody day by day and receiving grace from other people, even though I'm living that life, how thankful this life is. And then seeing the blue sky and being able to drink my favorite coffee and have a conversation with my loving ones, eye contacting with them, how thankful this life is. 
if I was living my normal with the normal legs, I would not be able to experience and realize this. Now, day by day, I'm living a very thankful and happy life. A lot of people ask me, Hey Jin, what if you are able to go to the past on a time machine? Then would you want to go back? If it was before, then I would think for a short time and I would answer, living with the two normal legs would be better to compare to living on a wheelchair. Maybe I would answer this way. But as time passed, compared to the time that I was living with the normal legs, I now, I'm more brightly shining, I'm more happy, and my life is more better. Because around me, there are many people who love me, and they're my mentor guiding me. And there are times when I'm going astray, wandering around. They're able to comfort my heart, fellowship, and also hold me to the right path. It's only now that I'm able to see that I'm patting that thankful heart in my life little by little. So these precious things are almost like a jewelry, like a pearl that I can never miss. As time passed, my life changed and my heart changed. And it says that in modern medical science, my body is not able to walk, but my body is getting better and better. I started um, exercise walking through raw art. Are you able to see the video I'm walking? If you see the video, you can see the line moving zigzag. The line moving zigzag is, is showing that when I'm walking, in my two legs there are sensors attached, and if I move my joints or my muscles, it can catch the movement of my legs and it can show it on the screen. The people who are not able to walk at all, the line is just straight. But if you see my uh, video, then you can see the zigzag movement. It means it's telling me that I have strength to move. I have strength to walk. Especially when I'm swimming, I'm able to clearly see that my legs are moving. If you see how I'm swimming, if you imagine a fish, then you would, you would know how I swim before. As the fish, where the head goes, the body is following. Like the image of the fish, that's how I used to swim. But currently, if you see how I'm swimming, I close my legs and spread my legs, close and spread continually. This is how I'm swimming now, as if like a frog. As I see these images, my physical therapy teacher and rehabilitation teacher, they're very shocked. And more special thing happened to me I, I was selected as a participant for robot walking clinical test. It was run by Hyundai company. I was able to co-process this experiment. And I was, as I was doing this experiment, compared to uh, walking through the learning machine, I was able to walk more actively. As I started this exercise, the amount of muscle in my legs and the function of my legs were examined first before the experience started. After two months passed, we started this experiment. My, in my two legs, the amount of muscle had increased 3.2 kilogram. The doctor told me that this, what happened to me, uh, if a young man 
for one month in order to increase the amount of muscle of his body. He takes a protein powder and a protein diet, and he trains for eight hours a day, every day. The maximum amount of uh, the muscle that can be increased is 0.8 kilograms. But for me, I didn't exercise every day, but it was only three times a week, one hour a day. But in this short time, for me to increase 3.8 kilograms, it was it's like a miracle. And he was very happy to give me this news. As I saw what he saw, what he was saying to me, ah yes, it is because of my heart, because I'm living with a heart who can walk, and I'm not just dwelling in the heart that I'm not able to walk. So automatically, my body is following my heart. Most of the most of the people they live their life for themselves. They study for themselves. They want to be glorified for themselves. All their focus is on themselves. Those people, if they meet an unexpected, unexpected accident or difficulty, they can only fall down. Even my life was the same. As I met this accident, I never expected it was difficulty, it seemed miserable, misery. And I thought that I'm a person who cannot do anything. I'm a fortunate. I'm cursed. That was the only way I could think about myself. But through this, I was able to realize how foolish my thought is my thought is right. What I'm judging is the only right thing. These thoughts, how it can make my life to live as a frog in the well. And I was able to have a heart, the structure of heart, being able to listen to other people's word. Everyone, you want to be happy, isn't it? A lot of people will want this. And a lot of people are living their life seeking for happiness. I also were one of them. But I'm already living a happy life. And the secret is, in my heart, the aspects, how I look, the pro my perspective have changed. As I met this accident and I lived a life on a wheelchair, I thought that this is only despair and difficulty. However, but these incidents, what happened to me, made me to realize what is happiness. And a lot of people around me was leading me and guiding me. So for 13 years, while the process of my heart moving from despair to happiness, there were a lot of guidance of people. There were a lot of love from a lot of people. I believe that there will be a lot of people who has that wit who has that wisdom around you. It is only because we're not able to look around us, and it is because that we're despising their words. But actually, our life is the life which cannot help to be filled with happiness. Only when our angle angle change, and only when our perspective change, we can only be happy. I'm so thankful and I can sh that I can meet you. I can share my heart, share my story. This is so meaningful and this is the most precious time of my life. It was a great time to meet you. I'm hoping uh, another time that I can meet you again. Thank you very much.